Ultra Trail Tribute T620 Highline. It's a 2018 and it's only done 3,000 miles. It's a five berth motorhome with four belted seats. It's a 2.3 litre, 130 brake horsepower. So it is a cam belt and not a chain. And it's just under six and a half metres long. And it weighing in a three and a half ton. Right, let's have a look at the cab first. So both seats, oh, let's have a go, do swivel around. So both of them, will turn into captain's seat, so we're making more use out of the cab when we're um, stopping in the motorhome. Um, we have got cruise control, um, it's six speed, and then we have our media pack, and then we also have our blown air, hot and cold, and we do have air conditioning um, on the motorhome. And then what we also do have is we do have the reversing camera as well. And what we do have as well on the windscreen we do have our blinds and on both windows there we go we do have our side blinds as well right let's have a look at the outside of the van before we go inside so we've got our flu for our heating system we do have our waste and then on the driver's side as well we have our hookup and then our gas locker. Good size in there as well, so you can fit two, easily two six kilogram gas bottles. And then we have our cassette toilet. And then just below that is our fresh water drain down. Now the fresh water tank holds 135 litres. Um, so that's a good size for your fresh water. So we'll make our way around the other side. So coming round to the back of the van, we have our cycle rack for two bikes. And then just above there, um, we have our reversing camera. Right, so I'll just show you the roof. So as you can see there, we've got the three skylights. We've got the aerial. And there is room there to put a solar panel on as well. Right, so let's make our way round to the driver's side. We have our fresh water filler. I quite like this rather than having the, um, the, the fresh water cap. Obviously it is lockable. And then what we do have then, we have our habitation door, extra feature, we have our security. And then we close like that and then we do lock it. It is also good for obviously getting in the van as a grab rail as well. And then we have our electric step. And then working along the van. So we have our fridge vents here, which obviously still got the winter cover on. And then we have a hatch. Let me just show you in the hatch. Because what we've got here, it has been fitted with an extra battery. So this is our original leisure battery. And then if you just see to the side, it has had an extra leisure battery put on. And what we've got, we've got our diesel. And then just a, just a quickie as well, both mirrors are electric as well, so you can adjust them um, using a knob on the driver's side door as well, so you can adjust the electric. So let's go have a look inside. Right, let's have a look inside this van. Let's put some lights. Have we got lights on? Yeah, we've got lights on. So this is a typical family type of van, basically. So we'll start at the back. We have our kitchen area. So let me just show you. It's a three burner hob, and then we do have our grill and oven. And again, I tell you what I do like, I do like these lockers. Really nice lockers. So we've got storage at the back, 
and then we have a good size sink actually as well so we have a sink there right and then what we do have we have our microwave and then we do have another good prep area here actually and then underneath that we've got our three-way fridge so as you can see our electric gas leisure battery and then to the other side of that we have our Truma ultra, ultra heat which is gas and also electric um, and then we've got our little I will just show you down here and this is for our blown air as well and then what we'll do we'll move into the bathroom so before we go into the bathroom we do have an extractor fan above as well so for when we are cooking we can get them smells out and then let's move into the bathroom So we have our washroom with a cassette toilet and then to the side of that and then what we also have is a separate shower and then just let me go inside as you can see it's a good size shower as well and then also we do have a good size washroom as well um, we do have a storage above as well there so we'll move down now to the front of the van so over the cab what we've got we've got our sleeping area here and then we do have a skylight to let the light in and i'll just come down just pull that little ladder up and then when we are driving we can push this back as well so that's a um, good area there for, for probably two children and then what we do have is a dinette here so we've got our dinette and then this area will make up into a bed and we can extend the bed we can also make the bed up um, to be a bit bigger as well with this end as well so with it being a four stroke five berth we do have two seat belts in the back as well as the seat belts in the front and then we do have the extra sleeping area as well if i just move over to here and this is our bench seat as well so quite a big spacious area with our dinette and also with our bench seat as well so our hot water is gas and electric and we've got our controls here this is our electric hot water and that's our gas and then like i said before we have got a gas fire as well it'll also work on electric so our control for that is here so we use our truma electric and then above the fire we do have a good size wardrobe which is quite deep actually you can just see in there so what we do have all the way around is we have these lockers good size lockers as well and I do like the colour of the lockers and then on all our windows we do have our blinds and fly screens and then obviously all the windows do open up so there you have it the auto trail um, like I say it's only done 3,000 miles and it's hardly been used if you just have a look at all the material there's hardly any wear on it whatsoever so what we have here is a good family van so you've got your, your sleeping area above your dinette also that'll make into a double bed and also the bench seat as well and then you've got your separate shower at the back with your washroom and then your end kitchen as well and a good prep area over the fridge so the auto trail nice fun